QuickBooks isn't just popular, it's practically synonymous with accounting software. QuickBooks holds 82% of the total market share, but is it the right accounting software for your business? Let's jump in. Hey everyone, this is Jeff Budiak with Software Connect, the trusted source for software reviews, research, and recommendations. Today, there are essentially a few main products supported under the QuickBooks brand. QuickBooks Self-Employed, which is targeted at freelancers and individuals. For the most part, we try and steer people away from self-employed since it's not a double entry system. Without double entry, you can't make simple reports like balance sheets, your data is more prone to errors, and it's more difficult to audit. QuickBooks Enterprise is targeted at larger businesses with more advanced inventory and reporting needs. Usually it doesn't make sense to consider Enterprise unless you're at least around 20 employees or maybe about 5 million in revenue. Discontinued end-of-life desktop products like QuickBooks Pro, Premiere, and Mac, Intuit is really trying to push their customers to hosted subscription models. And finally, the focus of our review today, QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Online is a good fit for freelancers transitioning from manual paper-based methods, and small to mid-level companies upgrading for more basic accounting software. It's great if you're looking for a reasonably priced, double-entry, cloud-hosted accounting system that you can access across multiple devices. It also offers custom reporting with a range of pre-built report templates like profit and loss, cash flow statements, and a &R aging summary. You can start with these templates and then customize them based upon your requirements. Finally, QuickBooks Online has a wide selection of invoicing options. Unlike some competitors, it doesn't limit reoccurring invoicing or billable clients in its most basic subscription plan. It also has built-in payment gateways to collect credit card and ACH bank payments on invoicing, making it much easier for you to get paid. However, companies with 25 or more employees might start running up against some limitations. Intuit tends to change their pricing almost annually, but as of this recording, there's a few options. Self-employed is $15 a month and supports one user. Again, we don't recommend this plan. It's essentially an entirely different product from QuickBooks Online. Simple Start is $30 a month for one user. The Essentials plan is $55 a month for three users and time tracking, plus is $85 a month includes five users, as well as light inventory needs. The advanced plan is $200 a month. The way Intuit describes their user count is kind of confusing here. It supports 25 users and unlimited reports only users. So standard users and administrators count towards your billable user limit. If you need to track projects and submit expenses, it's a viable option. But at this level, there are other good options on the market to look at, like NetSuite and Acumatica. Intuit usually has promotions running, like 50% off for the first three months or 30% off for the first year. Probably a good idea to look around for discounts if you're just signing up. This changes frequently. Now I'm going to walk you through the common task for most businesses creating invoices just to get a feel for the software. On the home dashboard, click the new button, then select in invoice, find the customer under the customer dropdown and the invoice terms under the terms dropdown. Enter the invoice date and due date. Enter any products or services in the line items section. Enter the amount and tax. You can also upload attachments. When you're done, click on the green save button in the lower right hand corner. Click the customized link at the bottom of the screen. Select new style from the pop-up menu. Under the design tab, you can change the overall look of the template. Add your logo, change colors, select different fonts, and change the page margins for printing. Under the Content tab, you can get even more granular, down to editing labels and column widths in your activity table. Under the Emails tab, you can choose to provide summarized or full invoice details in an email to your client. You can also change the subject line and overall messaging for the standard and reminder emails. To make the invoice reoccurring, simply click the invoice and select the green Edit Invoice button from the right navigation pane. Choose the Make Reoccurring link at the bottom of the screen. From here, it's as simple as choosing the intervals and start and end dates for the reoccurring invoice. Click on the green Save Template button when you're finished. So that's the software in action. What does QuickBooks Online do well? First, it allows you to invoice an unlimited number of clients at any subscription tier. This isn't always the case with many accounting solutions. For example, FreshBooks, the most basic plan, only allows you to invoice up to five clients at a time. The UI is pretty simple makes it easy to set up reoccurring invoices and bills, and quickly perform bank reconciliations. Finally, it offers over 750 integrations with third-party apps. These include point-of-sale platforms like Square, e-commerce apps like Shopify, and payroll add-ons like Gusto. However, QuickBooks Online isn't the best match for everyone. We hear this particular complaint all the time. If you're not an accountant, the system can be kind of hard to understand. 
Because it's a double entry system, you'll need an understanding of basic accounting principles and terminology to use it effectively. Some developers like FreshBooks try and help this by adding an optional settings for advanced accounting modes to make it easy for most users without sacrificing features. Some QuickBooks customers aren't happy about Intuit moving its products to subscription models. And with price hikes in 2022, many are looking for alternatives. If you're one of those people who absolutely hate subscription pricing, we've got a roundup of non-subscription accounting systems. That link is in the description below. However, I expect this trend to continue. More and more developers will push their products to subscription-based pricing models. Finally, QuickBooks Online lacks advanced inventory features. Capabilities like lot tracking are inherent in a system like Enterprise, but not in QuickBooks Online. Which brings us to our final verdict. I give QuickBooks Online a 9 out of 10 for its flexibility, sophisticated invoicing, user interface, and integration options. If you're still on the fence about QuickBooks Online, head over to our Roundup page on the best accounting software for the top options in the market today. Wave is another great option for small businesses, particularly for its free platform, in addition to the affordable accounting suite. Have you ever used QuickBooks Online? What are your favorite features? Or what are your gripes with the software? Let us know in the comments. If you're ready to learn more about QuickBooks or explore other accounting options, connect with our team of software experts. Click on the link in the description below or visit softwareconnect.com to get started. Thanks again for watching.